Steve Beck, age 32, right pat teller, dislocation secondary to a fall while running a marathon. Paramedics told me I blacked out. What else did you do today? Ate a couple of protein bars, took a couple aspirin for this cold I'm fighting. I got another race next month. Oh, God. All right, put him in a patellar brace, get post-reduction films, and run some labs. Make sure he's not too dehydrated. And Steve, next time you have a cold, you might want to skip the race. Never. <laughs> Oh, your labs show that you're significantly dehydrated and your muscles are breaking down a bit. We just want to make sure that the fluids help get everything back to normal before we send you home. But my knee's going to be okay, right? Because I blew this race. I got to win the next one. Your x-ray looks fine. Your knee should be okay in about three weeks. You might want to try some PT. It's pretty sore. The knee? Yeah, my calves, too. Oh, uh, well, maybe your brace is probably a little too tight. You've got extreme swelling in both legs. Could you tell the jury how you know Eric Murphy? I trained him last summer when he worked with me in the IC lab. And what's an IC lab? Integrated circuit. Silicone chips is how most people think of them. How long did Eric Murphy work there? He quit right after he finished training. Said he didn't care for the job. What was he doing? Shipping and packaging memory modules. Well, that doesn't sound so difficult. The modules are sensitive to electrostatic discharge, a static electricity. If a person isn't wearing protective clothing, they can destroy a chip by walking within 12 inches of it. Protective clothing? Gloves, a hood that covers the hair, and basically a biohazard suit that covers you from head to toe. People's 12, Your Honor. Is this the suit you're talking about? Yes. Is this suit disposable? Used once and discarded. Do you keep track of them? If someone wants to walk around outside the lab in a biohazard suit, have at it. They're cheap. Could Eric Murphy have taken one of those suits? Absolutely. What the hell, bitch? You think you all that and that Lexus? I am sorry, sir, ma'am. What, what, they don't give you no eyes in the suburbs? I am not a bitch. I just got this detail. I broke my goddamn nail. Let me get my uh, insurance oh, information. To one that does not do insurance. I was married. To a woman? Ooh, with a behind Beyonce would kill her mama for her. <laughs> <laughs> Did she know? When I told her, ooh, I thought she was going to slap the wig right off of me. She wanted me to stop, didn't want people knowing. I was like, girl, this is part of me. Sooner or later, Twan is just going to come out. You can't hide who you are. Amen, sister. Mm -hmm. Amon, do you want to hurry up with them steaks before the fire goes out? You know where to go. Really well with a good cigar. Just a wee bit of scotch. Well, if you were to have a wee bit of scotch, I think I could forego the open container violation. Ahmad, take out that Johnny Walker blue, would you? Hmm. Ahmad, get it yourself. Beg your pardon? You have a very poor way of showing gratitude. Gratitude? <laughs> well, I, I keep you employed. Employed? For years I've waited on you. I've cooked, and I've cleaned, and I've killed for you. And never once a single thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, need I remind you that if it wasn't for me, you'd still be a lion's dinner. I saved your life, so don't talk to me about gratitude. Oh, I remember that lion. I remember that lion very well, but not because it took you four shots to hit it at point-blank range. Including this one. And this one. I remember that line because you've reminded me of it every day for the past 14 years of my life. Where this ends today. My debt to you is paid. In full. I wish you good luck in finding a new employee. Now. Told you we might be back. This is a warrant for your arrest. You've got to be kidding me. We've gone all through this stuff. You were with your partner, Kenneth Woods, when he was killed. We can prove that. You were in this truck, this particular truck, the day Kenneth disappeared. We saw the sign-out sheet. That's right. I borrowed it, and I went fishing. Now, can you prove that I didn't? Because if you're talking about the GPS system, that thing's already been erased. Mr. Glazer, can you explain how part of the victim's necktie was found in a vehicle you were driving? 
Sergeant Ferrara, this room is on lockdown. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Your little buddy's nowhere to be found. You have any ideas? No, sir. He didn't mention anything to you? He just wanted me looking at his family. Reyes is still somewhere on this base. You, me, and the MPs will catch him. And when we do, he will tell me all about your involvement. I can't take you to Iraq with us, but I can sure as hell land your ass in jail.